Hi friends, my name is Broderick Ryans. I'm a teaching artist with Seattle Theater Group, a nonprofit theater company that runs the Paramount, Moore, and Neptune Theater Companies here in Seattle, Washington. So, I recently read this book called La Mariposa, which translates to the butterfly in Spanish. And in this book, you meet this young boy named Francisco. And Francisco is the son of these migrant farmers, and he's going to school for the first time and learning English. And so, it all becomes really overwhelming for him, but Francisco has this beautiful distraction of this caterpillar that turns into a butterfly that's in his classroom. He ultimately draws this beautiful picture of the butterfly that the teacher turns in and he wins an award, wins an award for it, which is really awesome. Um, but it got me thinking about something. Francisco was really distracted by this beautiful piece of nature and I'm oftentimes distracted by nature myself. And one of the ways that I kind of explore that a little bit is I go on these nature walks. And so that's exactly what I want to do with you today. I want to take you on a nature walk. I want to show you around my neighborhood, show you some places that I like to go and sit and reflect or explore. And I sometimes bring things back to craft. And so I'm going to do that. I'm going to collect some things and I'm going to craft. But while I'm there, I'm also going to do some observation and I want you to do some observation as well. So as we do this exercise, as you first watch me do this exercise and then you do it yourself, I want you to think about a couple of things. I want you to write down how you feel in that space. I want you to write down what it smells like, what it sounds like. Uh, does it bring back any memories? I want you to journal as you're in these places, but I also want you to reflect and I also want you to collect. So we're going to collect some things. We're going to bring them back and we're going to do some crafting. I'm going to show you my craft so you have an idea of what that craft could look like. And then I want you to share that with us here at Seattle Theater Group. Now, I'm very mindful of the fact that we are all living in a global pandemic right now. So if you are isolating with your family and you can't get outside, don't worry. I'm going to show you something that you can do in your house to do some observation, some journaling, and some crafting. It's going to be exciting because I want everyone to be a part of this. I want you to experience nature in the exact same way that Francisco experienced nature in La Mariposa. Now, before we leave our homes, I actually need to change clothes because it's a little chilly outside and I don't want to get too cold. So I'm going to change. It'll give you a moment to change as well. And then we can get started on our nature walk. Ready? All right. So before we get started, let's do a quick review. Our goals. We want to reflect. We want to journal. And we want to create. Reflect, journal, and create. Also, you're probably wondering what supplies you may need. You'll just need whatever craft items you have around your house. So color, pencils, markers, crayons, maybe a glue stick, uh, some paper, pencils, whatever you have in your house to craft with. You don't need to go out and buy anything. We'll just use what we have. Um, also, you want to make sure you have on some comfortable clothing and comfortable shoes because we're going to do a little bit of walking and we need an adult. Make sure you bring your parent or your guardian along with you. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm really excited to show you some of these places. Let's go. So the first stop is actually right here in my kitchen. This is a perfect example of what this exercise could look like for someone that's isolating at home. Maybe you open a window, you can open your front door. If you have a patio or steps, you can go sit out on those uh, in those spaces. But take in nature in those spaces. Uh, what does it feel like? What do you hear? Um, what are the smells that are coming to mind? And we want you to also journal those things down because we want to know what this exercise and experience was like for you, even if you're isolating. I had an awesome conversation from my window with actually one of my neighbors, which was really sweet. Hi, friends. Here we are at Lions Field. This is our second location. Um, it's a little cloudy right now, which I'm observing that, but and the tide is out. But the breeze is still coming in. It feels really great. Um, I smell this fresh scent of freshly cut grass and I also uh, have this scent of salty water coming in as well because you can still smell that a little bit. I'm going to go out and collect some shells and grab a couple pebbles and things like that for my craft project but it just makes me think of what the locations were like that uh, Francisco was passing through as he was traveling to and from school every day. So I'm keeping La Mariposa in the back of my head as I think about these locations. But I just want to show you around. Let's just look and take in this beautiful scenery. I can't wait to show you some more in just a little bit, but it's absolutely gorgeous here at Lions Field.
I am headed up to our third location right now and there are already so many thoughts that are coming to mind about this place. Um, just thinking in terms of journaling for this location, I'm thinking of how bright the colors are at the wall. I'm thinking of like what the leaves are going to be like when I get there. Um, I will go ahead and tell you when I arrived here, it was a little bit dirty. So I decided that I was going to pick up a little bit while I was here. Um, no need for you to see any of that in the video, of course. But make, please make sure that you keep Mother Nature clean and that we are respecting our environment. All right, so here we are at my final location. It certainly doesn't have to be your final location. Please feel free to explore as much as you can and as much as you want of your neighborhood. As I was sitting here and um, as I walked across the bridge, I was actually thinking about what are the activities that Francisco and his family do when he's not in school and when his parents aren't working? What are ways that they would possibly explore their neighborhood? I think that's really good food for thought to possibly put into my journal for later. But I really love walking across the Manette Bridge. It's beautiful. On one side, um, you have this beautiful view of the sound, which technically you can sit on both sides. Um, but on the other side of the bridge, there's also a beautiful view of... Um, the mountain ranges and so it's just really nice to sit out here and enjoy people as they're walking their animals enjoy the beautiful weather is just really great so i hope that you are enjoying your neighborhoods i can't wait to get back and do some crafting Hi friends, welcome back. I am excited to share with you some of the things that I journaled while I was out on my nature walk. I also can't wait to share with you my craft that I came up with. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into it because I want you to get started on your nature walk and to get started with your crafts as soon as possible so that we can see some of the things that you're crafting and journaling and some of the places that you possibly explored. I'm excited to hear back from you. Um, so while I was at Lions Field, I wrote down I could smell the saltiness of the water and I could tell that the grass had been freshly cut. And I could also hear families exploring and they were talking while they were exploring, which was really nice uh, to hear. At the graffiti wall, I noticed how messy it was. As you saw in the video, I felt like I needed to do a little cleaning while I was there. And I could hear the sound of cars passing by and the leaves crunching underneath my feet. And just the beauty of the wall was really nice. Um, at the Manette Bridge, I wrote down that I felt the breeze as I was sitting uh, and then walking across the bridge, which was really cool. Uh, it was a little chilly, but it was still really nice. And then I could hear the sound of people playing with their pets, which was also really nice to hear. And um, for those of you that may be doing an observation in your home, like I started off with in the video, um, while I was sitting at my window, I wrote down that I could hear and feel the breeze coming into my apartment, which I think you could probably hear a little bit of that in the video yourself. And um, that it was really warming to have a conversation with my neighbor from my window, um, which is just an example that you can be social uh, with your neighbor and the people that you're living next to even during the middle of a global pandemic. You can find ways to be social. So I just had a conversation in my window with one of my neighbors, but that's what I wrote down in my journal. Um, but I want to share with you my craft. I decided I was going to kind of do a uh, multimedia craft where I drew some stuff and then I glued on some stuff. This is actually just the back of an old shoe box that I cut up. But I used part of that shoebox to create the Manette Bridge that I walked across. I also, I mean, I drew myself on the uh, bridge with some birds and then the, that the wind was blowing because it was chilly outside. But it was also really sunny, so I drew that in as well. At the bottom, I added in some of the pebbles that I found at Lions Field. And I thought I would be clever by using a hot glue gun to create some water. I don't think the effects came out exactly how I wanted them to, but I still like it. And so I decided to just leave it there. And I added some shells that I found underneath there. And then this is part of what I think is was, was part of a crab um, that I found out um, 
at Lions Field. So this is what I came up with my craft. Um, your craft can be whatever you want it to be. It can be a drawing like Francisco did and La Mariposa. Um, it can be something like what I did that's multimedia. Um, you can craft something on your computer if you're good at doing digital work or whatever it is. Craft whatever you want. We would love to see those images and we'd love to hear some of the journaling that you did on your trip as well. Um, but thank you for joining us today and we can't wait to hear back from you.